హాయ్ ఇర్ వన్ ఐఎమ్ శ్రీనివాస్ ఫ్రమ్ బీక్యూబ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ సొల్యూషన్స్ సో మనందరికీ తెలుసు పైథాన్ ఈస్ ద మోస్ట్ పాపులర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ నవేడేస్ సో పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ యూజ్ చేసి లాజికల్ థింకింగ్ ఎలా ఇంప్రూవ్ చేసుకోవాలి అనేది మేము కొన్ని ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తీసుకుని ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తానండి సో లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సో మనం ఇప్పుడు ఒక మోస్ట్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టాపిక్ ఒకటి తీసుకుందాం లేకపోతే ఒక లాజికల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఒకటి తీసుకుందాం దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ పాస్ కాల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ పాస్కాల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ అంటే ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ లైక్ దిస్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యు ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ వన్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ రో సెకండ్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ వన్ వన్ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ వన్ టూ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ త్రీ త్రీ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ ఫోర్ వన్ సో వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ పాస్కాల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ అండి సో ఇలాంటి ఏదైనా సినారియో మిమ్మల్ని ఇంటర్వ్యూలో అడిగితే లేకపోతే ఇలాంటి సినారియోని యూజ్ చేసుకుని మనం లాజికల్ థింకింగ్ ఎలా ఇంప్రూవ్ చేసుకోవాలి అనేది ఒకసారి చూద్దాం సో ఫస్ట్ ఎప్పుడైనా మీరు ప్యాటర్న్ రాసేటప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ప్యాటర్న్ లైక్ ఫస్ట్ మీరు అర్థం చేసుకోవాల్సింది ఈ ప్యాటర్న్లో ఎన్ని రోస్ ఉన్నాయి మీరు గమనిస్తే ఈ ప్యాటర్న్లో ఫైవ్ రోస్ ఉన్నాయి అండ్ ఒక్కొక్క రో ఎలా జనరేట్ అయిందో ఒకసారి ఆలోచించండి ఫస్ట్ రో మీరు తీసుకుంటే ఇట్ విల్ బీ లైక్ ఫైవ్ రోస్ ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి మన ప్యాటర్న్లో ఫస్ట్ రోలో ఫోర్ స్పేసెస్ అండ్ ఆ తర్వాత వన్ ప్రింట్ అయింది సెకండ్ రోలో త్రీ స్పేసెస్ తర్వాత టూ వన్స్ ప్రింట్ అయినాయి తర్వాత రోలో థర్డ్ రోలో టూ స్పేసెస్ బట్ ఇక్కడ మీరు క్లోజ్ గా అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తే నౌ ద ప్యాటర్న్ ఈ చేంజ్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఫస్ట్ స్టార్టింగ్ వన్ ఉంది ఎండింగ్ వన్ ఉంది బట్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ టూ వచ్చింది ఈ టూ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చింది అంటే ప్రీవియస్ రోలో ఉన్న టూ నెంబర్స్ ని యాడ్ చేసి వీ హ్యావ్ టేకన్ దిస్ టూ అలానే ఫోర్త్ రో తీసుకుంటే వన్ స్పేస్ ఉంది ఆ తర్వాత మీరు ఫస్ట్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ వన్ తర్వాత టూ త్రీస్ ఎండింగ్ విత్ వన్ ఉంది ఈ టూ త్రీస్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చినాయి అంటే మళ్ళీ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రీవియస్ రో మీరు క్లోజ్ గా అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తే ద ప్రాసెస్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాపన్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ వన్ ప్లస్ టూ త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ టూ ప్లస్ వన్ త్రీ అండ్ మీరు ఫిఫ్త్ రో తీసుకుంటే దేర్ ఆర్ నో స్పేసెస్ ఇన్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ రో అండ్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ వన్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రీవియస్ రో ఫస్ట్ టూ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సమ్ సిక్స్ ఈజ్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రీవియస్ రో నెక్స్ట్ టూ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ అగైన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టూ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సమ్ అండ్ అట్ లాస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ సో ఇలాంటి ఒక ప్యాటర్న్ ని ఈజీగా ప్రోగ్రామ్ లో ఎలా రాయొచ్చు అంటే సో లెట్ మీ షో యూ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ దిస్ ప్యాటర్న్ యు కెన్ డూ ద ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ లైక్ దిస్ ఫస్ట్ రైట్ ద లాజిక్ టు రీడ్ ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ రోస్ ఇన్ ద ప్యాటర్న్ సో హియర్ ఐఎమ్ రైటింగ్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఎంటర్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ రోస్ సో విత్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వీఆర్ రీడింగ్ ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ రోస్ బట్ యాజ్ ఇన్పుట్ మెథడ్ రీడ్స్ ద డేటా ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ కన్వర్టింగ్ దట్ ఇన్ టు ఇంటీజర్ next so i am creating a loop to iterate for number of rows times like we are starting from first row and we are going until the number of rows like this i is equal to i plus 1 next so in each row how to print the you know the elements in each row anedi we will we'll see now here so here first if i is equal to is equal to 1 it means if i is the you know uh the first row and uh, when i is pointing to the first row here if you closely observe we are having four spaces and one so that is the reason i am taking something like this i mean i am talking about i am taking one variable called current row and here i am just keeping the one in a list why we are keeping in the list you will come to know because when we are calculating the current row we are taking the elements from previous row that is the reason we are holding the content into the uh, list that's it nothing more than that now i am holding the current row as 1 i mean uh, the first row uh, uh, we are taking a list called current row and we are keeping the element 1 in the current row here now i am print we are printing the current row like this here if you closely observe i need to print first the spaces next the elements in the current row list so first in the first row how many spaces you need is taken dynamically by using the number of rows it's like number of rows for example if it is 5 in the first row you should be having four um, uh, spaces so i am taking something like this rows minus i i will be 1 in the first row so i am taking space into rows minus i and to print the elements in the same line i am taking end is equal to empty next i am going to print the elements from 
the list we have taken. So in the first row, we are having only one element, right? So I am reading that element and I am printing in current row and we will print J and after printing every element, I want to give some space. So like this we are doing and after printing one row, I want to go to the new row. So that is the reason I am taking empty print. Now still till now I am talking about only first row. Next second row, I am talking about I is equal is equal to. So why I am you know strictly checking first row, second row means if you closely observe the pattern, in the first row you are having only one, second row you are having two ones. From the next row, the calculation will be there. So, but till second row it is fixed. So, that is the reason we are taking. If it is second row, the current row will be 1 comma 1. So, here we are taking current row list as 1 comma 1 and we are, you know, uh, the printing 1 comma 1 in the second row by using this logic. Next, coming to the third row. From third row onwards, the calculation should happen. Meaning, so when you are calculating this row, you need to use that previous row. So now, the in current row, you are having the details of the second row. So now, I will move them to previous row. I will take another variable called previous row and I am copying current row elements into previous row. When you directly copy the list into another variable, it will be shallow copy. So when you make changes in current row, the changes will happen in previous row also. That is the reason I am doing deep copy here. So when you call the copy function, it will be deep copy. You can do deep copy in different ways. After copying current row into previous row, I am emptying the current row. So here, I'm by using clear, I am just removing all the elements from the current row. And as you seen, from third row, I mean the first element will be 1 and last element will be 1. That is the reason we are taking current row dot append of 1. So, I mean, first we are adding the 1 into the current row. Next, we are calculating the next element from previous, you know, row. How do we do one Simple. So, again, you just use some for loop and do index based reading because, so I want, uh, I want to add these two elements now. I will take this element and from this, I will take the next element and I will add like this. So, it's like when you are calculating this, it is adding the previous two elements, right? And again, if you see the fourth row also, when you are calculating the three, you are adding one plus two. And when you are calculating next one, you are adding two plus one. So to do this, I am using one for loop. So here in this for loop, I will take zero element and until length of previous row minus one. So here until length of previous row minus one, we are going in the uh, this for loop. And here I will do something like this previous row of k meaning the current element plus previous row of next element k plus 1. So now it means when you are talking about this current element is this and the next element and I am summing this two that is it and we are adding this result into the current row. Current row dot append of so previous row of k plus previous row of k plus 1 that is it nothing more than that. After calculating all these things you are adding last, at last you are adding 1, that is it, nothing more than that. Now see, so here if you closely observe, after understanding this Pascal triangle, you can write the logic like this. We can write this in a, a, in a different other way also, but this is one of the easiest way you can say. So now see, let me execute the program and see the output. So here if you see, if I give 5, so we are having the beautiful Pascal triangle, that is it, nothing more than that. So now here uh, another important thing we follow in the VQB is dry run. So once we write the logic like this, we will have the sample steps, by we take sample input and we will show the student how the logic is working, that is the best part in the VQB I can say. So here for example, you take number of rows are 5 and then uh, we are starting from first row, i is equal to 1. 1 less than or equal to 5, true or false. So it will be it will be obviously true. Then it comes down and check whether this i is equal is equal to 1 or not, meaning whether it is first row or not, it is checking. So as you are having i value 1 now, so 1 is equal is equal to 1, true. Then it comes down. It will be taking the current row as 1. I mean uh, it, it is taking only one element in the list. So next 
will it go into else if else and say no because we have used if else if ladder once this condition is true it will not go to these next steps so it will directly jump into this part here in the first row what is happening means it is printing space into rows minus one, minus i rows are five minus i will be one it means four spaces will be printed four spaces will be printed and the control will stay on the same line because we have taken and is equal to space so control will stay on same line next in this for loop we are reading the elements from current row and we are printing so as you seen the, in the current row you are having only one element one so it will be read and it will be printed here it means after four spaces one will be printed so it means 1 2 3 4 1 will be printed here so next it is search for, it is looking for other element in the current row so we don't have any other element it comes down so it goes to the new line so here empty print means new line and now the i is equal to i plus 1 will be uh, done now i will become 2 now it go back and check 2 less than or equal to 5 true or false it checks yes it is true then it comes down here and check 2 equal equal to 1 true or false false because it is not first row now now it move to second row so it means i mean as this condition is false it is going to the second uh, uh, elif statement 2 is equal to is equal to 2 it is checking yes it is true then it takes current row as 1 1 and it don't go to the else now it comes to this part here and space into number of rows 5 and now the i value will be 2 5 minus 2 three spaces will be printed after three spaces it is reading the data from current row list and it is printing elements in the current row list so now in the current row we are having one so it is printing one first meaning after printing four spaces sorry i'm sorry after printing three spaces it is printing one and it is printing next one and in the second row you got now one one after printing the elements in the second row it is going to the new line and i will be incremented to three now we move to third row so it is like three less than or equal to five true or false it checks yes it is true and it is checking 3 equal equal to 1 true no it's false and 3 equal equal to 2 is it true or false it's false so it goes to the else now now here the calculation will happen to create third row so here if you closely observe now we are doing deep copy uh, i explained already why i am making deep copy here now into the previous row you will be having current row elements in the current row you will be having 1 1 and you are copying them into previous row and now you are clearing the current row so now the current row will be empty and as i said every row is starting with one so you are adding one first to the current row so now the current row is having one element in it that's it now you are calculating other elements by using this loop so now here the ray, i mean from the previous row you are creating the current row right so from the sum of the previous row elements you are creating the current row that is the reason you are making this logic now the range will be 0 comma length of previous row length of previous row is 2 2 minus 1 will be 1 so now range will be 0 to 1 why i have taken minus 1 here is so in every row from this element i am adding it to the next element so and when you talk about this element as we don't have the next element we should not go till here we have to stop here only that is the reason i am taking length of previous row minus 1 so until 0 to 1 we are going so now the range generates 0 first so now here uh, after coming into the for loop it do like this current row dot append of previous row of 0 plus previous row of 0 plus 1 meaning 1 and the result will be added to current row if you closely observe previous row of 0 will be 1 previous row of 1 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 so meaning now 2 will be added to the list current row list and already in the current row list you are having 1 and you added 2 now that's it and now if you see the range already it is reaching upper bound so the range is not going to generate anything so now in the current row at this point you are having 1 comma 2 after coming out of this for loop you are adding another one it means in the current row now you are having 1 to 1 and later it jumps into this printing part so at this printing part you are printing the elements in the uh, current row list so now if you closely observe first it prints spaces 5 minus i am talking about third row so i will be 3 5 minus 3 means two spaces will be printed first 
two spaces are next are next the elements from the current row will be printed that's it so now if you closely observe two spaces then one then from the current row you will be getting two then next two will be printed next from the current row you are having one then next one will be printed it means in the third row you are having one two one after printing all the elements it will go to the new line and the now i will became four so it goes to the fourth line now so now four less than or equal to five true or false it checks yes it is true now it is checking whether it is a uh, first line or not yes it is not first line next it is checking second line or not yes it is not second line then it comes down again and execute the else part so let me explain this also so now if you see from the current row you will you are having one two and one this will be copied to previous row now in the previous row you are having this one to one and now the current row will be cleared and the current row will be having now one added into it now from the previous row we are calculating current row again now the range will be zero and length of the previous row is three three minus one will be two and first the range generates zero so we will take zero and again previous row of zero plus previous row of one it will be previous rows of zero is one and previous row of one is two one plus two will be three will be added next it go back to the k and generates range generates one now again previous row of one previous row of one plus one will be two so previous row of one means two previous row of two means one two plus one will be again three next range is reached reach the end point so it is not generating any other range now in the current list you are having one three comma three and it come out of the loop and it will be added uh, last one will be added like this three comma three one and finally you are printing the elements in the uh, one i mean current list like this so as it is fourth row now five minus i value will be four one space will be printed then the elements from current row like one three first anyway after giving one space it will be printing one next current list is having three so it will be printing three next current list is having three next it will be printing three next current list is having one it will be printing one like that you know from the previous row the next row will be calculated and printed this is how we explain all the concepts and all the programs to the students in a clear way so i hope it is clear uh, i have taken the lengthy program but i i am trying to make you understand if you take any critical program also in vcube we'll explain in this detail to make everyone understand the program to join with us contact the below number my team will provide you all the details all the best